back to Randy's DIY. Today we're working on a Dell Chromebook. The model number of this Chromebook is Chromebook 113180. You see that 3180. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to flip this thing on its uh, on its top upside down. There are no screws underneath the rubber feet here. There are seven screws on this Chromebook. One here, 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 and here. Once we remove those, which I've already done, we're going to take a, a sharp spudger tool. We're going to, I always start in this front right corner and go in between the rubber and the plastic. There we go. Once you get under there, you can pretty much get your thumb underneath the cover and just pry up on it. It pops right off. This is your keyboard connector right here. And what we're going to do now is flip this back over and we're going to remove the keyboard from the top side. There are two layers of the keyboard. The first layer is this plastic piece right here. And then if you go down underneath, you'll find there is a metal layer on the back of the keyboard and you just work yourself around that keyboard like that. You don't have to be real gentle because we're replacing it. And once we get all of the front and sides clips released, you want to slide this back or actually toward the front of the notebook. And now your keyboard is loose. So I'm going to flip this up, release the keyboard latch here, and then we're going to just pull that right out. There is the keyboard removed. I'm gonna go grab a new keyboard, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back with the uh, replacement keyboard. This uh, bought from Amazon. Apparently it's a uh, Alton's replacement keyboard for 3380 laptop, no backlight, uh, made in China, and there's the part number, you can see that. And we're gonna see if this is gonna work. Here is the new keyboard. All the keys are intact. And slide that connector right through there. push that keyboard uh, ribbon cable right through that hole, routed it underneath the uh, battery cable, and then we're going to flip this, we're going to push this down to the seats, we're going to flip the latch closed, and now we're connected. Back to the front side, you're going to pull this all the way forward, slide the keyboard back underneath this edge, this direction, and we're going to drop this keyboard right into place and press down on it, snapping it into place. Before we go any further with putting it back together, I'm going to plug it in, power it on, and make sure our keyboard is working. I need to test the trackpad also. Okay. Yeah, looks like it's working just fine. Everything looks good here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And then we're going to put the cover back on the bottom, and we'll be good to go. For replacing the cover, Basically get it all lined up and just kind of give it 
some gentle taps around the edge. It'll snap in, tighten the seven screws up that we removed earlier. And you're pretty much complete with your keyboard replacement on the Dell 3180. The screwdriver tip that I was using is a mm, PH1, I believe. So there we go. 13180 with a replaced keyboard. Everything's like new. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.